Guys, so I know it's kind of been a while since I've done one of these, but that's because life has simultaneously happened and not happened. And by that, I mean nothing was really very interesting for a while, and then I was very busy. Um, I'm a senior. Sorry, I just... Very tired. In college, and it's finals week. And I'm graduating. And today's Thursday, right? I, my days are running together. Today's Thursday, and graduation is on Saturday. So that'll be fun. Um, but anyway, I had the weirdest dream. Like... Okay, um, so I play in D&D &D with some friends, and we're probably going to switch to online after we graduate, which is super chill. It's all good. We're going to figure it out. But anyway, we were in a town of gnomes, which I believe is what influenced my dream, and that's the only reason why I'm mentioning it now. Because in the dream, they were gnomes, but they weren't gnome-sized. They were, like, smurf-sized. But I kept calling them gnomes in my head. I was like, they're so small, but they're definitely gnomes. And gnomes are canonically in... We play D&D 5th edition, so I'm not sure if there's differences between it and others. Like, three feet tall. So, But in my dream, they were smurf height. So I was like, those are gnomes. And the way the dream opened was super creepy. So I'm just chilling. And I'm watching, because this is like third-person omniscient. No, third-person limited. I don't know what anyone's thinking, because it's not, it's not like right... Yeah. Any fool. So I'm watching this dude just chilling, and he walks past this house, and then there's like a gnome outside. The gnome's like, I don't even think the gnome said anything. I'm like, offered him something. He was like, okay, that's cool, I guess. And the gnome was like, you want to come inside? And he was like, I don't know why, but no, I don't want to go inside. And he tried to like leave. He was like, mmm, mmm. I'm eating jelly beans. They're really good. I love jelly beans. Mmm, coconut. Anyway, he's like, mm -mm. And like, oh no, come on, friend, come on, buddy, and like it's super sketchy. It's like, I don't know, like they're not even doing anything, but like I'm getting mad. Don't do it, vibes, bro. Don't do it. But he goes inside, and he sees there's a furnace in like the back room, and it's just clanged shut, and their ash is coming out. And he's like, hmm, that's sketchy. And then it turns out that the gnomes kill people. Um, I don't know why. It was some kind of, like, sacrificing that they had to do so that they could keep on doing their thing or something like that. And the guy's like, oh? And he tries to leave, and they're like, no. And he put, like, a chain on his ankle or his neck or something, like a collar-type thing, so he can't run away. And it... But it gets worse, because it's not like the entire dream. Mm, no, it doesn't end there. Because, mm. like, dream me is like, ooh, scary. But it's not happening to me. So while the dream is frightening, it is not a nightmare. You know what I mean? There's a mild distinction there. Okay. And so it ends up turning out, like, I don't remember all of it cohesively. But then it turns out that the, 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 the gnomes are after me, and I'm like, no. Because I don't want to die. Because that's what the gnomes do. They, they, they kill people. And I was like, eh. So I ended up running away to this house, and it's like a safe house, or it's almost a safe house. But the people there are kind of like, mm about you we don't know if we want to keep you here because those damn gnomes are following you and they're gonna kill us and we don't want that and I was like you know in hindsight that's fair but in the dream I was like bruh help I don't want to get killed by gnomes and they were like mm, no, neither do we you know which is valid but the gnomes end up they have these weird powers like the head gnome is super scary and he can like float and stuff and like move people telekinetically and I'm like, hmm. And the dream's weird and not necessarily linear. And at one point, I'm with one other lady gnome. And I'm like, you don't have to do this. You don't have to be like this. Because she's trying to keep me back. Because I have something that the gnomes want. And I can't remember what it is. Not just me, which they can murder. But also, like, an item that I think I took. But she's with me. And we're hanging out and stuff. And she's like, I have to. I'm like, no. You don't. 
we have like this bonding moment and like I think the gnomes are cursed because I'm talking to her and I'm like what if we could find a way to make you bigger and you could be my size and we could live happily ever after because I'm definitely like gay on this stream and I'm like babe we can make it work she's like hi I've heard stories, but I don't think they're true. And I was like, no, well, they, they probably are true. We just have to, we have to find out who sent them, which I think is a really, it's fine. But like for all the flavors of jelly bean, can you, there we go. Most of them are like fruity and then they throw out the cinnamon. Always surprises me, but anyway, we just gotta find out the source of the rumors and then we can make you big, and you can live happy with me. And she's like, mm, I don't know. And I'm like, it'll be fine. And we find this other guy, and we talk to him. We're like, bro. I don't even remember. I don't even think he was a gnome. He was just some, like, third character party, third group person. I don't know. But we're like, bro. And he was like, yes, it has happened. And we're like, <gasps> but then the rest of the gnomes come. And I'm like, mm. and they're like, mm, you're coming with us. And I'm like, no, no, I'm not. Mm. Hell no. So I go back to the safe house, but it's a little different this time because they've like barricaded it against the gnomes because they're like, fuck those gnomes. We're not letting them in, so they can't get us. And I'm like, hi. And they're like, and it's her again. Awesome. So I'm chilling there. And like things get a little sidetracked because one of my friends is like, yeah, I went on a date with this guy. Or I, and then I rejected him because I just wasn't feeling it. I'm sorry. I just really wanted another jelly bean. And I was like, oh. And like, we're in a group chat together. Like, he, she, I, uh, a couple other peep, peeps. And like, his bestie bro sent a message to the group chat that for some reason he couldn't see. Not the guy who sent it, but the friend who got rejected. And it was like, hey guys, just so you know, he told me that he got rejected when he went to go on that date. And I was like, oh no, that's sad. And then the one who got rejected was sending things to it that are like more than vaguely suicidal. And I was like, where is he? We need to, we need to find him. He's not handling this well. Because he sent like a video of him like putting up some rope and being like, haha, JK. And I was like, that's not healthy. Even when you're like at peak mental health performance, you shouldn't make jokes like that. And he is not. I was like, we need to, we need to check on him. And that was just like a weird side note amidst the gnome dream because she was chilling at the safe house, and that's how I knew to check the group chat and stuff. And then I was gonna walk into this other room, and I opened the door, and it was just completely black. And I don't mean like it was dark and it was hard to see things. I mean like I could not see shit past this doorway. And then my friend came up to me, and she was like, ah looking into the void i was like i guess i guess that's what i'm doing and she turned on the light and it was like a kitchen and i was like oh okay There's a little up there. that's good it was really god the numbs are gonna kill me it was very scary we fought they were like you're coming with us and i'm like no i'm trying to punch them and stuff and the thing is like they're gnomes and i was like i can't be beaten by a bunch of tiny ass gnomes but i I don't know. I don't even remember. Because my alarm... No, it didn't. My alarm didn't go off. I just woke up. But, um... Sorry. I did not manage to make the big gnome lady bigger. But I did manage to make the gnomes leave me alone. And I'm not sure if I gave them new victims or if there aren't victims anymore. But I was like... Not me. Mm-hmm. Mm. So that was super weird. Um, trying to think, yeah. I guess the most important life update is that I'm graduating and I don't know how I feel about that. Mostly like, almost like skeptical. I'm like, I've been going to school, <coughs> pardon me, my entire life. And now it's over. That doesn't sound right. Um, I just, in light of recent events, I just want to turn my hat around real quick. Pardon my disgusting hair. It's it's just a plain red cap. 
there's nothing else on it. Red just happens to be my favorite color. And I just wanted to make sure that that was clear. And I'm sure if you don't understand why, don't worry about it. And if you do understand why, you know. So I just wanted to make sure that was obvious. Is there anything else happening? Um, I want a tattoo, but I always want a tattoo. But I'm drawing it. I'm drawing it out. And after I get a job and get money, I'm going to get a tattoo. So that'll be a fun update in the future. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to start job hunting soon. That'll be fun. Super fun. But anyway, I've still got mm, today and tomorrow to just kind of do whatever because I'm already done with my finals. I only had like one real intense one and that was Wednesday. And that's done. Freaking heck, I love jelly beans. There's a hair on my arm. Sorry, it was tickling me like a bug. Specifically, jelly belly. The best jelly beans. Thank you, my mama. She got them for me for um, Easter. And I got... No, she doesn't watch this, okay. Because Mother's Day is Sunday and I don't want her to know what I got her before I give it to her. I got her, she gardens a lot, so I made a little flower pot and I painted it real pretty for her. Let me get it. And um, she has one of those wax melty things. Almost dropped it. So I got her some little wax melty things because I'm like, oh yes. So this is the flower pot I made for her. Well, I didn't make the flower pot, I just painted it. Also, I had someone ask if these hearts were stamps, and they aren't. I actually did make each of these hearts by myself. So since someone asked that, I'm mildly proud of myself. I got her two of the little scentsy things, those pink ones and then these purple ones. Mm, they both smell really good, or at least I think so. So I hope she'll enjoy them. They're scents that I know she doesn't have, so if nothing else, it'll let her know, oh, I don't like these, and so she won't spend her money on them. And so, I think I've talked about this before, maybe somewhere else, but it's important to know about your likes and your dislikes. Yeah. So that was my really intense dream about gnomes and a mild life update. Peace out. Enjoy your day or whatever else you've got going on.